All right. Well, as I said, folks, last night was the third and final presidential debate. Probably did seriously. Did who watched it here? You know what's sad? You can't tell at home, but there are 10,000 people in our audience. <laughs> and 15 just clapped. Uh, well, I don't know uh, how everybody else did it, but uh, like some of you, uh, I decided it would be fun to have a party and, uh, with my friends. Just so I have a, you know, get my friends together and have a party and watch the debate together. And so I got together with my good buddies, uh, band leader Max Weinberg, join me, and our show's announcer, Joel Goddard, uh, came by. Yeah. And, um, because we all wanted to watch the debates together, and the three of us had a fun-filled evening uh, as we uh, watched the candidates discuss the issues. And the best part is we took a bunch of pictures. And uh, I dropped them off at the photo hut this morning, and just before the show started, I stopped by, and they were ready, and I picked them up. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun if we looked at the uh, photos from our, our fun time last night in a piece I'm going to call Presidential Debate Party Photos. <laughs> These are great photos. Okay, well, our first picture uh, is uh, just of me in my apartment before the event. There I am. I got a pretty swanky pad. Uh, that furniture is still good from college. Uh, now, I had two hours before anyone was coming over, and I was just planning to straighten up, make some snacks, you know, because I had two hours to kill, when suddenly there was a knock at the door. And, uh, and it was Joel, of all people, yeah. And I said, Joel, why are you here two hours early? And Joel said, because I'm a loser. <laughs> well, then there was another knock at the door. And it was Max. <laughs> Joel said, ha, look, Max is a loser too. And Max pointed to me and said, and you're a loser for hanging out with us. We truly felt like the three biggest losers in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Reminiscent of our opening, Max. Anyway, we decided to make the best of it. You know, we just kind of have a good attitude. Max offered to make his famous super sloppy party snack where he takes a bag of Doritos, fills it with ketchup, and slams it against the wall. And Joel whipped up a batch of his bologna and Vaseline sandwiches. And then I carved a bust of debate moderator Bob Schieffer out of spam. After all this, I noticed only five minutes had gone by. I felt like killing myself. <laughs> to pass the time, I asked Max who he was supporting in the election. He said Kerry and pointed to a button on his shirt. Joel then got in Max's face and said, Kerry sucks, I'm voting for Bush. Joel then ripped off his shirt so we could see his campaign buttons. <laughs> Max then, <laughs> gets better the second time around, isn't it? Max then asked me, Ma Max asked me who I was supporting. I said, well, you know, Max, this election seems to be one of the most important of our lives. I think it's ignorant to rush to judgment and even more foolish to dogmatically support a candidate before fully understanding his position on all the issues. Therefore, I'm waiting until I can learn more before I commit to either side. Max just stared at me. So I said, in other words, Max, I'm undecided. And Max said, you mean you like guys and girls? <laughs> and Joel piped in, Conan's gay. <laughs> we still had some time to kill, so I suggested we should start drinking. Joel said, that's great, and whipped out a case of Pap's Blue Ribbon. <laughs> Max rolled his eyes and said, beer is for rednecks and frat boys. He then chugged an economy-sized bottle of Scope. <laughs> I told both of them they needed to class it up if they were going to spend any more time with me. So I downed a $300 bottle of Chanel No. 5. <laughs> well, as you can imagine, after that, we were all pretty wasted. <laughs> yeah, that was... You see, when I've, been, uh, when I've been drinking, I don't know how to work a sweater. That's the idea behind that photo. All right. Uh, <laughs> then I thought it'd be funny if we made a crank phone call. So I called up Ralph Nader and said, 
hey, this is Bob Schieffer from the debate. Why aren't you down here? And Ralph Nader said, I can see on my caller ID that it's you, Conan. And I said, uh, this is Bob Schieffer using Conan's phone. And he said, it sounds like you've been drinking, Conan. And I said, shut up, jerk, and hung up the phone. <laughs> Max and Joel congratulated me on my really witty remark. And I said, well, that's why I'm on TV at 12.30 a.m. <laughs> then, very hard time to get on the air. Then, finally, it was time for the debate. Max laughed really hard any time Bush tried to talk. And Joel showed Kerry his policy of no behind left behind. <laughs> then Max did his Bush impression by shoving a pencil in his ear and removing part of his brain. <laughs> Not to be outdone, Joel said he was going to do his Kerry impression, and then he squeezed his face in a vice. <laughs> Joel said, look at me, maybe Kerry should be vice president. Get it? Get it? Then there was a loud popping sound, and Joel's body fell to the floor. Max then removed more of his brain and started humping a lamp. So I grabbed the rest of Joel's beer and switched the channel to the Red Sox-Yankee game, and it was the best debate I ever saw. Very good time. That's a good picture. Good time. All right, but we got a fine program tonight. We'll come back. Al Roker's here. We'll see you in a second.